Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I want to quickly show you a new package on Filament plugin section, a new plugin called Record Navigation, which allows you to easily navigate between previous and next records from your edit page. It's one of those very small packages, but may be really useful if you have a lot of records and you want to quickly navigate between them without jumping between list and then edit again and then edit again and stuff like that, or guessing the ID in the URL. First, let me show you how it works and then I will show you the code. So imagine you have any resource. In this case, I have tracks for racing projects and imagine you go to edit page and you have track two with ID number two and then this is the navigation navigation for other records. The delete button comes from default filament resource and then you can click this and then you have track number three here. Of course, it's a very short form with similar names, so it's not strikingly visual. For bigger forms, you'll have bigger changes. So you click here, track four, you click here, track five, and I guess that's it because I have only five records. And similarly, you can navigate back by clicking the previous arrow back to track number one, and then you navigate to whichever you want, and then you can edit that, for example, track 444, save changes, and then in the list, that specific record is updated. To enable that navigation, you have to edit two pages in your filament resource. Of course, after doing the composer require with the package, which I've done behind the scenes, then in your resource, in the edit page, you need to add use has record navigation with the trade, and then edit your header actions by merging the existing actions with this function, get navigation actions. In the official documentation of the package, it lists two cases. For example, if you have existing actions, you can do array merge, or if you don't have any actions, you still need to merge with parent get actions. And then another thing you need to do in the list page, you need to store record IDs in session, which is done by just adding the trait from the package. So this is exactly what I did in the list. Here, use has record list and use here. And that's it. In fact, when looking at the source of the package, it's kind of a genius, really small package. All it has is two trades, has record navigation and has records list. And in the has record navigation, all that button does actually when you click previous and next is this saves the record IDs from the IDs from the session and then mounts the record. So using live wire, the live wire mount method, kind of a constructor, which is reinitializing the component of filament edit page, which is actually live wire component with the new record ID. That's it. It doesn't change anything in the URL. So for example, if you navigate between records, let's do that again. As you can see, I click next, next, but the URL doesn't change. So if you click back, you don't land on the page of previous record, you land on the list. So all that package does is refreshes the form data with the record of another ID. What do you think about this small package? Will you use it in your projects? Or maybe you've done that navigation somehow differently with another plugin or package? Share your experience in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.